I'm gonna show you guys everything that I'm taking with me. We're going on a road trip. We're here, we're in Leeds. This is mine and Sunny's bed for the night. I feel a little bit anxious this morning, not gonna lie. Point of view, you're giving Sunny a tummy rub. This has been my job. Stressed and disappointed. <laughs> Good morning, welcome back to another weekly vlog. For me right now, it is Monday morning, bright and breezy. I'm up at the office already because I'm waiting for a delivery of new stock today. Also want to say, sorry if you can hear dogs barking. There's dog training going on right behind the window that you're sat at. And they're quite big dogs, they're big barks. Um, but yeah, it's early this morning. I've bought my breakfast with me, got a little breakfast smooth. This is what I've been doing because I don't have time to get up in the morning, get ready, have breakfast before I come here when I have to be here early. I'd rather have an extra half an hour in bed. So I just quickly make my smoothie and bring it with me. Lovely. What have we got today? In here there is like half a pint of strawberries, half a banana, some frozen mango and pineapple juice. Lovely stuff. So I'm going to sit here and drink my breakfast, wait for this delivery. It could be here over a four hour time span. So I'm going to be here for quite a while today, but it's fine. I can keep myself busy. Got orders to pack. This over here behind me is the new summer collection. Very exciting. But as you can see, not all of the boxes are here. So that's what I'm waiting for today. I think I've got six boxes left to arrive. I had eight last week. So there's a little rundown. In this weekly vlog, I'm going to try and show some more of my life that's not work related. And just because I feel like I've quite a lot of worky stuff lately so i'm gonna show you some of the casual bits too I like my breakfast smoothie mm, i'd give it maybe a six out of ten today i've discovered that my favorite fruit in smoothies is the frozen morello cherries from asda honestly they are unbelievable in a smoothie <laughs> So the big delivery arrived. I've just popped home to make myself some lunch. I had a backup pot noodle in case it didn't arrive till this afternoon, but luckily they arrived this morning. So I'm back home. I'm gonna go back up this afternoon to start counting it. But for this moment in time, I am making the most delicious lunch ever. So I'm gonna make a couple of wraps. I've just chopped up some veggies, some veggies, not a lot, lettuce and peppers. And then I'm gonna have chorizo and halloumi oh oh look at that perfect color i made this the other day and it was delicious um so i basically just cooked the halloumi and then put the chorizo on top of the halloumi for you know like 30 seconds minute it doesn't need long at all i feel like halloumi is such a summer cheese is it not I am the queen of overfilling wraps, but we move. How delicious. I'm gonna put a little bit of salad cream on, I think, as well. This is the face of a girl who is stressed and disappointed this morning. Harry Styles pre-sale tickets. Don't even get me started. The boy's doing a venue with 4,000 seats. Guess who was number 42,000 in the queue for tickets? First of all, why did they think that was a good idea? Second of all, actually is a really good idea because if I got tickets, I'd have been buzzing about it. But I just wish that 42,000 other people had changed their minds at checkout. Definitely not bitter about it, but I didn't get tickets. It's no biggie. Do not want to see Harry Styles anyway? <laughs> I'm so sad. I had such naive optimism that I had even planned my outfit. I almost ordered the outfit on ASOS. Thank God I didn't because imagine the heartbreak when the outfit arrived and I didn't have tickets. In case you're wondering, I was planning on going in a pink suit with a white feather boa, but I'm taking my feather boa out my Amazon basket now. Anyway, I've actually got a really busy couple of days planned now because I found out yesterday that I'm going to Leeds this week. Not for anything particularly exciting. I'm going with my parents and Sonny's coming with us. And basically the tenants in their house have moved out and it needs a little bit of a refresh. So we're going up there I think Thursday morning until like Sunday to give it a lick of paint, fix a few bits, clean a few bits, but I'll bring you with me. Little road trip, lovely. And I need to pack my bag for that tomorrow, but it does mean that I've only got two days of work left. So I need to get a move on today. Do you want to tell them or shall I? You want to tell them? Guess who's got a new bed? Is this your new bed? Oh, Sunny, you're such a lucky girl, aren't you? How lovely is this, guys? I absolutely love it. I love that it matches in with our lounge so well. So this is from a brand called Luna With Me. I'll link them in the description down below. It's another small dog business. Absolutely love her. She is such a lovely girl. These dog beds are so calming for dogs. Like this donut shape, they love it because they can curl up in it. It's so cozy for them. And what I love about this one is you can take the covers off so you can wash it, which you couldn't do with Sunny's last donut bed, which was a little bit inconvenient. This one, like the middle cushion comes out 
there's a zip round here you can take that off you can take this cover off the noodle bit comes out it feels such nice quality as well and sunny honestly loves it she's gone to look out the window right now she got to do garden watch but yeah i'll leave luna with me linked in the description down below definitely go and check them out they've got a few colors a few different styles of beds as well and i've ordered a new set of bedding haven't i and I'm really excited about it. Obviously, this is the old bedding. Um, but I just feel like I've had this bedding for ages now. I mean, it's nice. I like it, don't get me wrong. My duvet cover is like brushed cotton, so it's super soft. If I'm totally honest, didn't really put a lot of thought into this. It just looks okay. Very average. Although my little cushion of Sunny. <laughs> of course, above average. My mum got me this for my birthday. How cute is it? I have no idea when I got this bedding, but I feel like... I have my bedding for a long time and I just don't think about it. Like, I don't even see this bed anymore. Like, it might as well be invisible. I just don't notice it. So, decided to give it a little refresh. You'll see all the bedding probably in next week's vlog because I think it's going to arrive late this week while I'm away. But I've gone for a little white and silver. Bit more classy vibes. I got it from a few different sites like Matalan, Dusk, Dunelm. But yeah, I'm very excited for my new bedding. The little things in life it truly is i'll take the wins where i can today <laughs> let me tell you that and my loves this section of the vlog is very kindly sponsored by surfshark if you haven't heard me talking about surfshark before you must be new here welcome so surfshark is a vpn which stands for virtual private network and it's essentially an underground tunnel to the internet to keep you your information your bank details all safe online it's a little browser extension so mine sits at the top of google chrome on my laptop and you can connect to different places all around the world and it will give you a new ip address your ip address is how hackers usually access your information but because surfshark gives you a new ip address the hackers can't get in they're a bit thrown off you know they'd be looking for you they can't find you i live in essex but i usually connect to london just because it's nearby but it gives me a new ip address or sometimes i'll connect to miami because wherever you connect to around the world you can access the internet as if you're in that country so if i connect to miami i can access american netflix it fills my heart with joy that there will never be another day where the kardashians comes out early in america and i can't see it yet because you best believe your gal is hopping onto american websites i genuinely couldn't imagine using the internet without the safety of a VPN now. It gives me so much peace of mind. So if you're interested in downloading Surfshark, I will leave a link in the description down below. And if you use the code FABULOUS, you will get 83% off and three months extra free. You heard that right. It works out to less than a few pounds a month, which is such a small price to pay for the safety of your bank details and your information and accessing the Kardashians early. It's worth it just for that. Now I need to get on with my work because like I said, got a week's worth of work to fit into two days. Let's do this. You are looking incredibly fluffy little girl. My fluffy little pup. I love that Sunny has her ears kept long now when she has a groom. Oh, she wants a tummy rub. Point of view, you're giving Sunny a tummy rub. <laughs> yeah, what was I saying? Oh, I love that her ears are kept long when she has a groom now. I think it makes her look super cavalier. Let me show them your ears. Her ear ends above my thumb, just there. So all this bit is just fur. She loves it. Oh, that means more when she rubs her face like that. Where's Sunny gone? There she is. Got a little scratch. Honey, get it for you. This dog is so spoiled, it's ridiculous. And I can feel the sun on my skin. We've just come out for our evening walk and we just met, you will have seen in the last clip, um, a little dog called Bonnie. There's two dogs, there's Bonnie and Rocky. And they're like some of the only dogs that I trust locally for Sunny to play with. I'm really fussy with who I let her speak to and play with. Just because you never know like when a dog's going to turn and stuff. Did you have a lovely time playing? Good morning everyone. I'm currently doing my makeup. I've had a shower and washed my hair but not dried it so not looking my best right now. But as I got to this stage of my makeup routine I thought I would share this with you because this is something new I've been doing. I saw this product on TikTok and I really like the finish it gives. So this is the We Cherry Hydrating Dual Phase Setting Mist. It's like cherry flavoured. Flavoured? Not tasted it. Scented. So right now I've done concealer, liquid bronzer, liquid blush, brows and a little bit of highlight. So now I'm going to set my makeup. Haven't powdered yet, which is the key. So I literally soak my face in this stuff. And then the powder. But I'll see if I can give you a little close up. Look how wet my face is right now. But I feel like if you put the powder on after, it literally gets rid of your pores so well. So like here... 
I just press it on like that. I'm using the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder and it literally gives you such an airbrushed finish if you do this after the setting spray. I don't know why I've never thought of doing that before. There's probably some reason why you shouldn't do it after the spray, but I haven't found that yet. <laughs> then I just leave it for a couple of minutes and brush off the excess. But honestly, it makes such a difference to the finish of my makeup. So thought I would share it. You are currently in my photo box. I'm up at the office today. It's actually nearly the end of the day, but I didn't film any of my worky stuff because I said I wasn't going to, but I thought I needed to give you an update. So I am about to take some product photos. Obviously I'm gonna be in Leeds for the rest of the week. So I need to get ahead with the Instagram posts so that I can still keep posting. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. I've got my photo box all set up. Here she is. I've just popped downstairs to choose the products that I want to take pictures of and this is my prop box. I've got all my little things for photos in there. These are actually table mats from Amazon. I really, really can't be bothered to pack my bag right now but it's six o'clock i'm going in the morning so i need to do it i've got to stop putting it off i'm going to film a little time lapse and i'm going to show you guys everything that i'm taking with me for a few days away please bear in mind the following so we're going up to leeds primarily to sort out my mum and dad's rental it's literally about five minutes away from my rental in leeds the tenants moved out there's been a little inspection and the house basically needs a refresh we are staying in the house while we redo it there is nothing in there other than one double bed so i'm on the blow up bed we're literally having to take like the kettle <laughs> from downstairs so we can have a cup of tea so this is going to be quite excessive like obviously if i went on holiday i wouldn't take a towel with me for example but i've got to take a towel i've got to take my duvet so if you look at this and think han that's a lot for a few days that's the reason why there is nothing in this gaff of course i've made a list on my phone literally if i could plan my poos for the week there would be a list in my notes app i make a list for everything and it's quite a long list i've got a list for me and a list for sunny let's go minutes later and i think i've got almost everything laid out in front of me so let me give you a quick little rundown first of all we've got clothes as you can see a very colorful clothing selection here to be fair we are literally painting decorating and cleaning so most of this is old clothes like old leggings big baggy tops pajama section anyone else take an absurd amount of underwear obviously tomorrow before i leave i will be dressed so i've got friday saturday and sunday tell me why i've got eight pairs of socks just in case my slippers of course i'm not taking a dressing gown i've got a big jumper in the pajama section just in case it's cold honestly i'm such a just in case kind of person you'll see that moving on to the techie section chargers camera charger phone and apple watch charger laptop charger case laptop little plug-in oh my gosh if you've got a macbook these things bane of your life if i forgot this there'd be no vlog on sunday you wouldn't be seeing this right now so if you're seeing this vlog this is with me <laughs> obviously gonna take my camera and my little tripod as well this one just here then we have the toiletry section so this is my skincare that i'm taking every single evening without fail Vitamin E cream cleanser. I usually use a reusable cotton pad, but for the sake of this little trip, I'm just going to take some disposable ones. Skin and Me and moisturiser. This is the one I'm going to take with me. It's the Bliss Drench and Quench. I really like it. Face wipes, contact lenses, my retainers for at night time. This is my little clean section. So I've got a little shower gel, little mango from the body shop. Lovely. My razor, perfume, deodorant, a dry shampoo, a claw clip, some hair bands, my hairbrush and my small mirror for doing my makeup. I need to add a couple of bits to that in the morning, like my toothbrush, toothpaste, my sponge, and shampoo and conditioner. I'll add those in a minute, actually. Also gonna be taking my hair towel, because I'll wash my hair when I'm there, but it's wet at the minute. Did I say hairbrush? I think I did. Then I've got my little medicine bit. So I've got my vitamins, and I call this Polly. This is Polly Peel Pot. Don't laugh at me. I'm such an old person, it's unreal. Then I've got my sunglasses, my glasses for the evening, and my makeup bag. I think once I've added those few little bits in the morning, that's everything I'm going to need for a few days. I'm just not a minimalistic person. I can't go without like my cream cleanser in the evening. Call me high maintenance. 
if I am, I am. Then the stuff I'm packing for Sunny. This is the part that I enjoyed way more. Here's her little overview. So cute. Why is it literally like having a child that I'm packing for? This is my dog walking bag. I'll use this instead of a handbag. Then I've got a tub of her favourite treats. Bacon, sausage, lovely stuff. Her water bottle. This Pro Colin. This is for if she gets an upset tummy. This sorts her out in like a couple of uses. Just in case. A couple of harness options, of course. How can she go in just one harness when I'm literally a harness business? The gal's got to have a wardrobe. A couple of different brushes, because she is a doodle. Got to keep on top of that brushing. Lammy. Of course, Lammy is coming. A couple of different lead options. So we've got the short one. This has got like the lockable carabiner clips for if I'm walking sunny by myself, just for safety really. And her extendable lead for if we go to any fields. Going to bring her blanket. And also this little grey bed, just because it's really portable and easy. Obviously, she'll have her car crate, but she wouldn't sleep in that. I think I'm just going to put this on my bed when I'm there. And this is the array of toys that come in with us. The only things I've got to add to this in the morning is her food and her food bowl and water bowl. Sunny's going to have her own bag, and the bag that I'm taking is this one. This is from another small dog business, actually, called Bella Lottie Fetch. Thursday morning. And I'm all packed. I had to change the bag last minute because the zip let me down on the other one. But I got everything in, so we're all fine. Panic over. This is the first time I've travelled at all um, since before the pandemic. So I feel a little bit anxious this morning, not going to lie. It feels weird to be going back to a place that I know so well, but as such a different person now. Like, I haven't been to Leeds for like... Uh, years and years I don't even know how many years but we're going back it's my first time traveling for a long time and it's my first time traveling with Sunny as well and I overthink everything with her fingers crossed I've remembered everything I'm gonna try and have a nice time I've still got work to do it's gonna be very busy doing the renovating but at least I'm getting away for a few days hopefully I'll come back feeling refreshed I won't I'll come back knackered <laughs> we're just out taking Sunny for her morning walk I've done a long walk with a lot of running in the park such a nice day today but obviously we're going to be sat in the car for probably about five hours with the stops so we're just tiring out a little sunny bit. The back of the truck is very full right now. Sunny's in here. We're not actually too squashed in, in the back though like we managed to fit everything bearing in mind we've got carpet shampooers, a hoover with us. In the actual car bit it's not too bad. We're going on a road trip. We're in sunny sunny Grantham. We just stopped for the halfway point. We'll be driving for about two hours, ten minutes. This is actually really handy that they've got this little green space for Sunny to run around in. We've just eaten our lunch. Now we're having a little play. She's done a couple of wees. This is the furthest north you've ever been. We've still got two hours to go. <laughs> Back in the car. Good girl. Come on. Oh. <laughs> So guys, we've made it. This is a little tail here, in case you couldn't tell. Sunny is crying a bit because my mum and dad have just gone into B&Q. Um, but yeah, we're here, we're in Leeds. We've been to the house, we've had a look around, seen what we need to do. There's quite a lot to do this weekend, I'm not gonna lie. Luckily, there's not difficult jobs to do. There's just a lot of little jobs, like lots of little paint touch-ins, lots of cleaning needs to be done. I'm gonna be getting my hinge on. This camera angle always makes me laugh because she looks so massive. In reality, her head is like half the size of mine. But it's actually nice to be back in this area, you know. It's funny how much I remember it. Like I literally remember where the Asda is. Remember where I'm actually outside the Asda right now. I remember how to get to places. I remember my way around. Weird. And it's weird to be back here with Sunny. Isn't it? Do you like Leeds? I do really like Leeds as an area. It feels so friendly. And also, oh my God, don't get me started on the roads. I don't love driving where I live, but I think it's because the roads in Essex are so busy and so hectic and just fast. Up here, the roads are so much slower, less busy. There's less like scary roads. It's all long country roads for the most part. I would love to drive up here. Haven't got my car with me. But if you're thinking of learning to drive and you live up north, don't take for granted how easy it must be. Because being in Essex, it's not fun. I asked for takeaway recommendations on Instagram and someone said the Skyliner fish and chips is amazing. And I've actually had it before years ago. Completely forgot it existed. So we went there, I've got a large haddock and chips. I mean, this doesn't look very appetizing, but I remember this being unreal. I've got a little curry sauce as well. Let me know in the comments down below. Do you have curry sauce with your fish and chips or is it disgusting in your opinion? I used to think it was disgusting. Now, love it. This is mine and Sunny's bed for the night. <laughs> It's actually massive, you know, guys. I think this is like a king size blow up bed. 
with a little headboard, how fancy. Didn't even know we had one this fancy. Sunny's little bed's over here. Obviously, she's not gonna stay in the bed, I know that. She's gonna be up by my pillow, probably right there, snuggling into my face. But this is where we're sleeping for a few nights. I'm excited to have a little sleepover with Sunny. Although I know she's gonna be getting me up and going down to the garden a few times, probably. Oh, I will open up my eyes so I can see the light. I haven't managed to vlog as much as I'd hoped to while I was in Leeds. I'm still here now. It is Saturday evening. I look like this and have done since we arrived because I have literally never cleaned so much in my life. My highlight of the trip has been walking to the co-op every morning to get a little croissant from the bakery section. Absolutely delicious. Um, but I thought I would show you some of the work I've been doing. So my responsibility for this trip has been the lounge. I did help paint the kitchen as well today, but mostly the lounge has been my focus. It's a little grey theme in here. The sofa and the chair, actually all the furniture in here came with the house when my mum and dad bought it got a little mirror on the wall and these gray walls are what needed repainting so badly especially this one there was loads of like little finger marks and stuff it's also had a very deep clean around all the skirting boards these cushions have all been taken off hoovered down the back of the sofa is clean all around these skirting boards this wall as well has been repainted this is the one you saw me painting in that little clip the curtains came down it's just been thoroughly cleaned painted behind this tv unit as well i took all that out cleaned the unit it probably took me a day in here and then the other day has been like dilly dallying doing stuff but I like it, it's such a nice cozy little lounge. We've got one more day to do. We're gonna be here probably all day tomorrow and then we'll leave Sunday evening. But obviously this vlog goes up tomorrow morning. So I'm gonna end this vlog here. I hope you've enjoyed it. I wish I could have shown you more of our little adventures. It's just been full on since the moment we've got here because we only had a weekend to do the whole house. So yeah, I hope you guys can understand that. I'm gonna take Sunny for a walk now and then we're gonna have some pizzas and call it a day and start again tomorrow. But I hope you guys are all having a lovely weekend. Let me know in the comments down below what have you been up to this weekend i would love to know but anyway thank you very much for watching have a lovely sunday and i'll see you again next week with another little weekly vlog bye guys from me and my very painty hands love ya